10.48 a.m. Wednesday, May 20th, 2020. Um, kitchen table. Um, not very motivated to do much of anything, which I think is totally fine. Um, it's sort of like vacation. I think I'm sort of on, on vacation. Um, a staycation, which is, which is nice. Uh, I've kind of run out of of gasoline, which I think is, is fine. I, and I think I'm, I'm being present for the refill and I'm sort of like embracing the emptiness of burnout. Right. And again, I mean, I've been, I've been making, uh, mad progress again for like seven years. You know, I, I think the, been thinking a lot about cells and human cells and how they regenerate every seven years. But that also means that they haven't regenerated until then. So essentially we are carrying uh, our last seven years in us all the time. Um, and I think I'm very clear on like what a footstep is, uh, what six seconds is. Um, I have a sense of what can be done. Um, and I sort of judge everything and certainly every person I see and certainly any anything made visible on social media comes from somebody behind a screen in their real life. Um, and I think when you drill down on what life is, you got to think about death and how we're afraid to die and how we are kind of like frantically building... Um, in case today's our last day. Um, and you know, this video is not motivated by any strategy. Um, I mean, time ticks off the clock and you wake up and there's another day, right? And there's this great legacy of time that we um, inhabit and step into every day. And you, you kind of can't help but think about life in terms of work and time and cost and accomplishment and I mean, maybe like recognition uh, and prestige and identity and reputation. Um, luckily, I think I've, I've avoided those mostly and um, have not been successful uh, externally, all right? Um, however, I've done what I wanted to do from waking up to going to bed. I've insisted on it. And I've found a way to survive. I've found a way to keep going. Um, now, have I been privileged? Have I been lucky? Um, do I have wealthy parents? I do. You know, have they helped bail me out more times than I like to say? Yeah. But... I never lean on that proudly. You know, I'm always sort of ashamed and disappointed um, that I haven't, quote, figured out how to do what I want and get paid. I mean, I think that's the dream, right? Everyone wants to be free from worry about making enough and having enough. And I don't think anybody really gets free of that worry. I mean, I think the more money you get, the more m money worries you have. Um, and I think I've just stopped trying to outrun the fear and instead try to understand it and um, speak to it, right? It's like if you can speak to the things that terrify you, I think you can build a brand <laughs> doing that. Um, and, and by a brand, I just mean reputation. You know, there, there's no way out of having a reputation. Because um, even once you are out of the needing to make money, um, you have to matter, right? It has to mean something that you're here. It has to mean something that you're still in the game today, you know, May 20th, 2020. It's like, well, you either die or you make being here matter and you participate. Um, and it's like everybody needs to matter. And I think that's just what drives everything, right? I think I've really grasped human nature in a huge way, you know, by 
reading, and really just by, by writing and discovering what is inside me, right? There was a lot of therapy, um, but mostly it has been committing to five or 10 and sometimes 15 hours a day of sitting with the computer, sitting with the keyboard um, and the screen and getting to know yourself, getting to know the voice in your head, the voices in your head, you know, writing down your memories, right? Essentially treating yourself like a friend, you know, and I think I get this from being an only child, um, having to kind of be your own friend and your own entertainment. Um, and you know, I've, I learned you can just keep calling it art. You know, if you realize you have a, a powerful personality that won't be denied, you just gotta keep making stuff. Um, and if that's just writing your thoughts down and making so many bad 100 page documents, so be it, all right? I mean, the internet is this vast library and if you're bored, I don't know what the hell you could possibly be doing if you're bored. I don't understand it. Um, I mean, you've got your own body, which you can work and stretch out and you can learn ballet and you can stretch and you can see what it can do. Um, so you've got that. And I don't know, I mean, you've got the internet. You've got everybody you know. You've got everybody you could possibly find. Um, and so many people are doing their work out loud, protesting out loud. Whatever, you know, people doing all sorts of videos. Um, comedy. I mean, all sorts of stuff. Um, so, I don't know. I mean, I guess the, the question is, I mean, it's, it's about meaning and it's about financial security. Because, um, of course, all security comes down to finance and power and abstractions. Um, but, yeah, you know, U.S. dollars are the base currency. And I think just the older you get, the more you see that economics runs everything. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm probably on the way to, you know, putting something out there as far as a program. You know, I'm, I sort of don't think, I don't know, content. Content. I have a lot of thoughts on content, you know, both from... We can always talk about content. Um, what content needs is a reader. And I've learned that, that good attention is the scarce resource. Really coming to a piece of content, as it were, um, with the right kind of mind, the right kind of viewership. Um, and I can talk a lot about viewership. Um, essentially, you come and you're open and you're sort of very transparent and you're ready to receive something and to understand that what you're seeing from the artist, the creator, is his or her or their personality, sensitivity, longing, loss, fear, dread, um, that made them do it, right? If you think about what makes someone paint or sing uh, or act, or, or write, it is some sort of impulse. There's a need to get something out. It's like something needs to change and you know, too much has come in and you've got to vomit it back out. Um, I mean, I think that's the reason for any work of art. It's the reason for any creative act. Um, there's an impatience. Um, you know, Robert Frost, the poet says that, you know, the poem starts as a lump in the throat. You know, it's a, it's a homesickness and a lovesickness. Um, so I think, I think that's interesting. Um, and yeah, I mean, I think we all have the choice of going to the safe place, you know, email, Slack. You know, again, we, we look at our obligations, right? If, everyone, if everything's about economics, it's about, well, how do I get paid? What's my job? I think that's such a more spiritual question. Um, and I really do believe that, um, you can't really rely on a job anymore. You know, you can't really rely on money anymore. Ex you have to think about money in terms of what money represents. And it's about trust and relationships and promises and faith. 
and also I think preference and, and quality. Now, I think it's about community um, and who you give a shit about and who gives a shit about you. Um, you know, human beings are simple social primates. We can keep track of about 150 relationships. We are wired for small tribes. And every so often I sort of like burn out on reading content, which is I think what has caused my sort of staycation uh, today in the last, last few days. Um, and I'm resting my singing voice. Um, and so I should probably stop, stop speaking, but, um, yeah, thank you for watching. You know I mean? I've, I've been, I've been making stuff on the internet since 2008, 2009. It's now 2020. Um, I love the craft. I love, I love the aloneness. I love the nothingness. I, I love the part of human nature, which is nothing matters. And in a sense, nothing is real and you can't control it. And we're just chemistry and, and, and we're just presence in a body. And you can kind of like let it all out and just breathe and just attend to the fact of the nothingness of your existence. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing to have as a touchstone every day to get back to this base of nothing really matters. Um, because it makes politics, economics, policy, cities, families, companies, allegiances of all kind make sense. Because you realize everybody is just out there being nothing, but trying to act and to fit in and to be seen and be heard and be counted by the systems or the particular observers that will keep them alive. All right, we're all just trying to meet our needs. I mean, that's, everyone has needs and everyone is, you know, my roommates who work from home for Google and Amazon, respectively, um, as software engineers. It's like they need to contribute to something bigger than themselves. I think there's a great hunger for difficulty in just being a, being a person. You, I think you want to have a, a team or a community or a set of relationships or at least some others, right? Nobody is alone. You know, no matter how much time I spend alone, the point is that I'm one of many in the community of readers and writers and creators, um, people, you know, connected to the tech world as it were, right? We're all here online making content, kind of trusting ourselves to social media. Um, and I do think that, I mean, that's the only way, that's the way the world is going is everything becomes about social media and brand identity and everything gets reoriented around, you know, live and content and community, you know, niche, you know, who cares what you do? Because there's an infinite number of things to tune into every day. And I would say, show me where you tune in and I'll tell you who you are. Um, so yeah, I think, you know, I'm a big advocate and I will certainly get into this in any kind of uh, either consulting practice or, um, live events or, or group events that I, I host, which is all about figuring out who you are by way of backtracking what you want to follow. And it's like, well, if you can only follow 150 either people or brands, you know, we're going to go, we're going to un, we're going to go to through your list of who you follow. We're going to go to the bottom, you know, and we're going to unfollow essentially in the spirit of Marie Kondo, like unfollow who doesn't spark joy and who doesn't represent who you want to be more like and who you want to be with. Because the only place to get is right here, right now, um, but with others. You know, there's no way to get ahead. Um, and there's a reference I could make there to William Derisevich, who wrote a book called Excellent Sheep, in which he quotes um, talking about the trouble of ambition is 
you want to be loved, as the poet W.H. Auden says, alone. You want to be loved alone. You want to stand on a pedestal on your own and be seen and loved. And in a sense, my work has tried to do that, but I think I've learned you don't really want it because it doesn't really exist because everyone, everyone's too busy trying to get on their pedestal and get seen that they aren't a good audience for you. Um, and I actually just saw a clip from David Bowie who I, I quote quite a bit when it comes to, to creativity. Um, it's like, you have to do it for yourself. It's like, no other audience can see your work like you can. At least that's what you have to think. That's what you have to go in with. Um, and it's always a pleasant surprise whenever they do see what you do um, and they relate to it. But that's not the norm. I think that has to be the exception. Um, I think, you know, and it's like, you'll learn. You know, creativity, I mean, much like a recruiting career, much like any kind of career is like, you learn very quickly within a day or a week if you like it or not, right? Because there's a couple tests. There's the 9.30 a.m. test. There's an 11.30 a.m. test. There's a 2.30 p.m. test and certainly 4.30. And it's like, well, you'll realize if you don't like the day because you won't want to do the work. Um, and yeah, I mean, time, I think this is actually from Thomas Paine, Common Sense. Um, and I said from the American Revolution, it's like time makes more converts than reason. And I think you just have to learn it in your bones, what you actually want to do and what you actually will do. And you need to stop believing in stories that aren't true about yourself and what you want to do. Um, so I can go on, but I'm gonna rest my voice. Thank you so much for watching. Um, this will go on YouTube. I may tweet a little bit of this. Follow at GP Lewis. Thank you so much.